ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. You have clicked on to the Weather Extreme video. This is a look at uh, weather for Alabama and the southeast United States for the next 15 days coming from the ABC 3340 Weather Center. This is for Friday afternoon, the 6th of July. Rain chances going up. In fact, many folks getting rain as I do the update, and that's a good thing. Let's start with some sky cam shots. We'll begin with the uh, Gulf Coast. Why not? The Alabama Gulf Coast is seen from the sky cam on top of the Phoenix All Suites. Pretty nice-looking crowd, and weather looks pretty good down there right now. We actually had a water spout or two down there yesterday. In fact, you can see photographs of that on the blog. Uh, we'll kind of go upstream. We'll go up to Demopolis, up to Tom Bigby, and the sky generally cloudy there, but so far no rain today. And up in Tuscaloosa, up the river even more, up the Black Warrior, um, the sky mostly cloudy with nearby showers. Here's a look at the big picture, the water vapor satellite imagery. What a plume of moisture moving in this direction. The upper low that has been plaguing Texas for days is currently around Texarkana, Arkansas, and drifting in this direction. And also there's a surface front involved north of the state, and you sure think between those two features, we should see a pretty decent coverage of showers and thunderstorms tonight, and especially tomorrow. There's the radar as of 2.45 this afternoon. You can see scattered showers and storms over the northern half of the state. Some pretty good downpours at that point. Uh, one approaching the city of Cullman, uh, one between Fayette and Jasper, one around Collinsville, and one near Madison up in the Tennessee Valley in a big batch of rain back over in Mississippi. And uh, Again, we'll be watching the rain very carefully on radar. Here's the QPF map. And, you know, the guys at HPC are kind of changing the look of this from you know, run to run. It's just hard to draw these in the summer because of the convective nature of the showers and storms, but uh, that's suggesting a good soaking statewide. Now, this time they've got the heaviest rain over the southern part of the state. I, I just, I don't know if there's enough skill to really determine if it will be north or south Alabama, but everybody should see at least one or two inches over the next couple of days. And by the way, this is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. And a quick peek in the tropics. Got to disorganized storms east of uh, Florida. And uh, that is not in a position where it should develop. And our little system is finally fizzling out there uh, east of the Windward Islands. The dry air is just absolutely choking that thing off. Here's a look at the model output. This is the 12Z GFS valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock Saturday. And uh, this is valid at 500 millibars. That's about 18 to 20,000 feet off the ground. The heat bubble shrinking up a little bit back in the southwestern states. It's still out there. And a Vortmax right on top of us. And that should mean a pretty good coverage of showers and storms tomorrow. No, it's not going to rain all day, but it could rain at any time. And some spots could see a heavy downpour or two. Now, Sunday, the GFS wants to dry us out, and I don't see a real reason for that. Perhaps dry air with that front north of here trying to creep in here, and I guess it's possible. But, you know, it tried to do that last Sunday, and that was not right. And I don't think it's correct in this case. So uh, once again, what we've got is uh, we'll maintain the chance of scattered showers and storms on Sunday, Monday of next week. The air stays moist. That looks like a very normal July day, uh, scattered afternoon showers and storms. And we'll check in with Tuesday of next week, and uh, uh, we're kind of in a weakness. We've got a 594 circle off to the southeast, one off to the west, and a bit of a trough beginning to dig down across the plain states, the high plains. Uh, and at the surface, again, a soupy air mass. That would suggest your typical scattered afternoon showers and storms. Wednesday, good-looking cold front coming down the line from near Chicago to Kansas City. And by Thursday of next week, by golly, a nice-looking trough begins to carve out from eastern Canada down into the Tennessee Valley. The uh, heat stays out west under the ridge, and that uh, trough will drive a surface boundary down this way. Uh, Thursday looks pretty soupy with scattered showers and storms. And Friday, that front is... Shown up around Huntsville. Uh, I'd say it's unlikely it makes it much farther south than that, but that could enhance the coverage of showers and storms at the end of next week. That's a week from today. And then Saturday the 14th, look at that trough. Wow, that looks nice. I'm not so sure that's right. That's pretty uh, high amplitude for July. But at the surface, the front indeed stalls out near Huntsville. That would suggest a good coverage of showers and storms on July 14th. That's a week from tomorrow. We'll go trolling four more days, the 18th. It's the same story. Uh, ridge out west, trough over the east. 
And that's a pretty soupy, moist air mass of scattered showers and storms. The end of the cycle, July 22nd. Well, that looks like July 22nd, doesn't it? Westerly's up on the Canadian border. No discernible features around here. Hot, muggy with scattered afternoon showers and storms possible there. That's uh, that's it for the after... after <laughs> That's it for the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video, at least my next video, will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters. We'll have the video updates here uh, this weekend, tomorrow and Sunday. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.